So Nick, tell us, what has the Centre for Work and Learning done for the University of Brighton? Oh, it has made a significant difference. Um, in terms of our workforce development, our curriculum development and our business engagement, um, three main areas where we've benefited. First of all, it's allowed the institution to take risks. We've been able to cover our development costs with development grants from the Centre for Work and Learning. Um, this has enabled us to understand what the employer need is and develop courses to meet that need rather than take courses off the shelf and offer something that is convenient to the institution. Examples of this, the Tronics course, unique course in vehicle electronics and architecture um, developed to meet needs of industry with small development grant for the Centre for Work and Learning. It's flourished, it's been offered uh, locally, regionally and now internationally uh, with huge demand from employers both inside the vehicle sector and outside. Um, we've also been able to develop master's programmes, two most notable ones, SE7 which is purpose built for engineers in the road industry um, to advance their the skills and knowledge of their staff and FDM, a local international uh, software company who have a computing master's course to enable their staff to develop and advance their skills while they're working for the organisation. It's also enabled the university to look at the way that we work. Um, to work outside in uh, is a good example. We are able to talk to employers, have a dialogue about workforce development, understand their needs, not just in terms of generic degree courses, but very specific needs such as uh, the ability to recycle uh, waste and reduce energy consumption. Uh, to meet that need we developed courses in Crawley with businesses in the Manor Royal Estate specifically in that niche area. If it proves successful then that will be very much like the Vitronics would be rolled out across the country to other industrial estates on a commercial basis. These are paying clients. And thirdly, it's allowed us to develop a flexible curriculum. The Graduate Certificate in Leadership and Management is an excellent example. It's allowed us to use a flexible model to develop leadership and management skills for uh, further education college and managers in Sussex and Southern Water as a large employer in Sussex to fulfil the needs of training within each of the industries. Most importantly, the Centre for Work and Learning has allowed the University of Brighton to diversify its business engagement model. In years gone by, we've been able to offer KTPs, knowledge transfer partnerships to business, applied research, limited consultancy. Uh, the Centre for Work and Learning has allowed the institution to look at workforce development, developing skills amongst managers, middle managers, supervisory uh, level managers, um, and work with businesses across the scale in Sussex.